What's going on guys? Welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. I'm Dustin. Brett and I shot this segment earlier, but we had some technical difficulties. So you're stuck with just me on this one. Before we get into some tips and advice, quick shout out to Duncan, weekly pick'em winner for week 10. Brent will be in touch to get your shirt size and I'll stick your shirt in the mail. Be there before you know it. All right, let's get into some tips and advice. Fantasy playoffs just around the corner. We took a look at the matchups and found three teams with good matchups, three teams with bad. Now, I know the trade deadline's come and gone in most leagues, but you need to know this stuff for matchups and for pickups and all that good stuff. But let's start with the bad teams, the Giants. So guys like Knicks, Bradshaw, Eli, not gonna really like their playoff schedule. They're at Minnesota, then they got Philly, then at Green Bay, not too good there. Vikings are next. They don't have the best playoff schedule either. You know, AP, Brett Favre, you probably shouldn't be starting him anyway, but Percy Harvin. They got the Giants, Chicago, then at Philly. That's pretty ugly. But the worst of them all is the Jets. It is awful, their playoff matchup. They got Miami, then they're at Pittsburgh, and at Chicago. So not looking good. If you have any Jets receivers or LT or Sanchez, not pretty for them. All right, now let's talk about some guys that have good matchups. We've got three teams here for you. First one, Tampa Bay and LeGarrette Blunt. <laughs> you know, he could, you could ride on his back to the championship. They got, they're at Washington, then they got Detroit and Seattle. That is a juicy matchup. So obviously Mike Williams and Freeman also have some value there. The Titans also have a good ma good matchups. They got Indy, Houston, then at Kansas City. And a lot of weak defenses there. And then also Oakland. Not a good, uh, Oakland also really good matchups. They're at Jacksonville, then they got Denver and Indy. So, you know, if your trade deadline hasn't passed, you might want to trade for some of these guys with good one, good matchups, get rid of guys with bad, but obviously keep this in mind as far as all your pickups and moves moving forward. All right, it's forum time. We're gonna go ahead and answer some of your questions. And the first one comes from, finally, Detroit wins. And he wants to know, should he start Felix Jones against Detroit? Should he start Blunt versus San Francisco or no Sean Marino against San Diego? Well, Community said 71% Jones, not Blunt. If you're a Detroit fan, you're not going to like my decision because <laughs> I'm going Felix Jones. I think he has a monster week. You know, the Cowboys look like a completely different team last week, and I think they have a good game against Detroit, and I think Felix Jones is going to be a big part of it. Look for him to have two straight big games. Community agrees. I know I'm going against my boy too, but I think yeah. Felix is the way to go. All right, Brent, we got one from CMC Ginn. Harvin versus Green Bay, or Javid Best at Dallas. About 90% right now, says Percy Harvin. Smart community we got going on. Javid Best is garbage. The turf toe has been, you know, obviously hurting him. He was actually held out of practice today. You know, Harvin's going to be my certain definitely pick here. And the reason really behind it is just because Best, other than that one monster game that he's had, he hasn't really done much. Harvin's still playing pretty well. I agree with the community, go with Harvin. All right, last forum question comes from Jughead28. Kidna versus Detroit or Hill versus Dallas? 60% says Kitna, and I'm gonna agree with them. Again, I think, I think the Cowboys have another solid game. They looked like a completely different team, like I said. You know, they made the Giants D look bad. So imagine what they're gonna do to Detroit. I think you go all in with the Cowboys this week. Stick Kitna in your lineup. Moving into our studs, duds, and sleepers. Let's start with mine, my stud, Ray Rice, going against Carolina. They're not that good against the run. Ravens have been looking pretty good on offense lately. I think Ray Rice has a good game. My dud, Brandon Marshall. This guy has been pissing people off for weeks now. You know, now he's going to have Big Pen throwing the ball against Chicago. It just doesn't get much, much worse than that. I wouldn't bench him for just anybody, but if you got a good receiver on your bench, go ahead and make the swap. And my sleeper, been talking about him, Felix Jones. You know, I talked about him on the waiver wire show. He was only owned in 65% of leagues after last week. Go ahead, if he's available, pick him up and stick him in. If you got him on your bench, find a way to get him in your lineup. All right, my stud's gonna be Peyton Hillis against Jacksonville. Yeah, this guy is the real deal. He did great against the Jets last week. He's just been solid. On a side note, he's a top 10 keeper, I think, coming into next year. My dud is going to be Andre Johnson. He's, it's tough, and I love me some Andre. He's going to be on Revis Island. And a, a, a side note came out today about Matt Schaub has some sack or fluid in his knee. You know, he might have to get a little bit of work done on it. He should be fine for Sunday, but, you know, that's a lot of question marks. If Schaub doesn't play, he's certainly going to be a, a strong candidate for a big time dud. And then my sleeper, Nate Washington against the Washington Redskins. 
The reason behind this is Randy Moss. Anywhere he's gone, that second receiver's really excelled. Wes Welker, obviously now he's taking a hit with Moss being gone. Percy Harvin was playing great when he was there. Nate Washington caught a touchdown last week. I think he gets in the end zone again. All right, let's get into Mike's picks. We're sticking out there with that Tennessee Redskins game. He's going with Chris Johnson. Obviously, the Redskins have looked god-awful on defense as of late. You know, Chris Johnson should have a field day. His dub, the Sean McCoy, going up against the stingy Giants D. You know, McCoy's a little banged up right now. He's just not that high on McCoy this week. And his sleeper, Mario Manningham, he's going to get another start with Steve Smith being out. He had a big week last week. He's looking for two in a row. He's going up against the Eagles this week. So that's it for this week's show. Brett and I are going to be in the forums as much as we can this week. And as always, good luck.